The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 874. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. You can now purchase the Tao of Self-Confidence, a guide to moving beyond trauma and awakening the leader within on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, Walmart, Indigo, and other major book retailers. Get your copy today. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have an amazing woman on the show today. She is the president and CEO of Trillion Inc., Top 50 Women Leaders of San Francisco in 2023. She's also the Enterprising Women of the Year Award 2023, the board member of the US PAC West, and also the co chair of US PAC Wise, which is the Women Initiative for Strategic Empowerment. And I'm super excited to have her on today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Carolyn Joshua. Carolyn, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Hi, Sheena. So nice to meet with you. I'm excited to be on your podcast and actually have been following your incredible journey as well. So excited to have a conversation today. So a little brief about myself. I'm the president and CEO of Trillion Inc., which is a workforce solutions provider on a global scale. And this is actually our 15th year in business. So additionally, I'm the co-chair of the WISE program by USPAC, which focuses on empowering women to be efficient and effective leaders. I also have the privilege of being a partner, a limited partner with How Women Lead. And I'm a very avid advocate for the Get On Board program, which actually focuses on women achieving parity with men in corporate boardrooms. So that's a little bit about myself. Awesome. Well, first off, congrats. 15 years. That's amazing. I know not many people who own their own business or start their own journey. Some of them, you know, don't even make it to the second year. And I know being uh, your own boss, you know, takes a lot of work. There's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of setbacks and trials and tribulation, but there's also a lot of things to celebrate, to be happy about, to build confidence. And, you know, that's all part of effective leadership, right? Learning to push through all those things. So I just wanted to say congrats. And Carolyn, what's your cultural background? So I actually grew up in Bangalore in India. I grew up as an only child, so pretty protected in a very supportive and loving household. My parents were not the typical Asian parents that you would think of. <laughs> so they always encouraged me to pursue my own dreams and they gave me the freedom to choose whatever I wanted to do. When everybody else was doing engineering and medicine, they said I should actually do something that I would love to do for the rest of my life. Also, they never were afraid of letting me fail. And actually, a funny story is that I actually went to the wrong examination hall in one of my board exams. And my dad, uh, when I came back home, he said, that's fine, because you learned something new. So, you know, they were never the typical Asian parents. So they let me do things my way, my pace. And uh, several years later, as an adult, looking back, I realize now that those experiences were actually the building blocks of my self-confidence and actually which helped me start my company at a very young age, which is the number one question I get. How did you decide to start it so young? So I think that's the answer. I love that. And I know as Asian parents, especially being, you know, the only girl I know in India, there's so many things that still happens today for little girls and for women, you know, such as child marriages, human trafficking, or even if you're a widow, it's considered like an outcast to society. And your parents encouraged you to, you know, beat, beat, beat to the tune of your own drum. I hope I said that right. But, you know, color outside the lines, forge your own path, which led you to entrepreneurship and being able to be in business for 15 years. So they basically, you know, push you off a cliff and said, figure it out. And, and you know, that's a great way because sometimes our parents are very protective, right? And especially Asian parents, they just want to protect you from everything, which is done out of love, of course, I understand that. But sometimes that actually stops us from moving forward. And in our adulthood, we tend to struggle, makes, you know, second guesses about ourselves, can't make a decision, overthink, resist. So I really love that your parents did that for you, because it really helped you in the long run. And what would be your favorite self confidence quote? Yes. And before that, I just wanted to add, Sheena, is, you know, since I grew up in that environment when, where my parents believed in me, let me do whatever I wanted to do, I was always told that it would change when I got married. So when I came to the United States and I, and I got married, 
I always thought that life is going to be different based on what I've seen in the Asian culture. But I'm very fortunate to have a husband who believes exactly in the same values. And he, you know, always encouraged me to pursue my dreams without any gender bias or gender, uh, gender roles. And I think that is probably the reason behind my success. And he's actually my best friend. I just wanted to add that. And coming back to my favorite quote. So this one, I have many, but this one really stood out. The most beautiful thing you can wear is confidence by Blake Lively. And I somehow loved it because we all strive for beautiful things in life. But the most beautiful thing actually is is your confidence. I love that quote because it's that confidence that really brings out the inner beauty that you have, right? The authentic beauty, the raw, the rawness showing you like, here's a woman who's been through so much, who's been able to break barriers, break glass ceilings, show others what's possible. And that confidence will go beyond just clothes, right? So I love that quote that you mentioned. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? Self-confidence means actually staying true to yourself, understanding your own strengths and also your vulnerabilities because all of us have our own weaknesses. And it's about lending a hand to others when they actually most need it and also not being afraid to or hesitate to seek help when, when we need it. And that's exactly what we're doing with WISE, you know, helping each other grow, help empowering each other to be their authentic self while being vulnerable at the same time. So I would say for me, being true to yourself is my definition. I love that. And that's a great definition. And it's important to have that support, right? I'm having support like wise who can be there for each other and you know sometimes we've been we've been told that our vulnerability is our weakness when it's actually our greatest strength so i'm glad you were able to mention that and carolyn what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence when i started my company 15 plus years back i always had a strong belief in my abilities to succeed but All of us face challenges and mine were some of the very common ones, mainly because of unconscious bias. And I would say the biggest challenge that I had was that I was young. I was a woman and I actually look younger than my actual age. And I don't know if that has ever been a good thing for me. But so it it seemed like a lot of people uh, when I would go to present my company and in sales meetings, they never took me seriously. They would all always have this doubt in my capability in achieving the projects because they thought I didn't have enough experience, like in the number of years, right? So for several years, I felt like I was hiding in my own shadows in the background. And I actually never told clients that I was the CEO of the company. So I I was very afraid and I would always avoid that question. So I think that for me was is very was very real for the I think the first 10 years. Thanks for sharing that. I think a lot of women feel that way, especially, you know, as Asian women, we do tend to look a little bit younger than our actual age. And because of that, I mean, it's good and bad. It's good to look younger, but at the same time, you're not taken seriously because they think, oh, you're still a child or they might think, or they might think you're, you're the secretary or the assistant, not realizing you're the CEO. And it's funny because there's a lot of women CEOs that they, out there who have gone through the same thing there where they mentioned that they didn't even say they were the CEO, even though they were like behind the, the mastermind behind the whole business. And what was that point in your life when you realized that, you know, you were more than enough, you can go out there with confidence telling people, you know, Hey, I'm the CEO. I'm the one who built this company from the ground up. What was that confidence aha moment for you? Sheena, you know, I was very fortunate to have met an incredible woman. Her name is Joanne LaSalle Ramsey. And she was the CEO of a very successful company. And she had been in business for I think 30 plus years. So when I met her, and I was in the first few years of my journey, that was the first thing she pointed out because she looked at my LinkedIn and she said, why doesn't it say you're the CEO? And I, I told her the whole my whole inhibition. So that was the first thing she made me believe, you know, and gave me the strength to to say it's okay to be yourself and you don't have to hesitate and be confident to say you're the leader of the company and, and it, it shouldn't matter what other people think about you. And I think that was my aha moment. And since then, I have been able to very confidently say and proudly say that I'm the president and CEO. So I think for me, that was an eye opener and actually meeting other women so I think that coming back to why I'm so passionate about WISE and, and what I do with other organizations is, is because of that, because women have helped me in my journey. 
Thanks for sharing that great story. And it's so true. Sometimes we need one woman to just believe in us to show us what's possible. And then it gives us the courage to go out there and say with confidence that you're the CEO, you're an entrepreneur, you're forging your own path, and you're transferring that same energy to future women who also want to be a CEO who are facing a similar situation that you may have faced, you know, maybe some of them are still afraid to say they're the CEO. But then after hearing your story, they're like, today's the day I'm just going to say it and just let it go. So I love that. And because of that aha moment, what's your life been like now? It's been great. I I feel so much more confident. I feel it's it's just been a relief to be yourself and and to not care about what people think about you. And it's it's been wonderful. And I think it has opened up my perspective of life. And and I actually value a lot of young women that I see out there. In fact, the moderator that we chose for our WISE program is a very young lady. And when I met her, I, it, I reminded myself of how I was 10 years back. So I always give that benefit to every woman that I see. I love that. And I love that, you know, I'm also part of the WISE cohort. It's been such an honor to be part of it, to be surrounded by amazing women who have similar visions. And as women, collaboration is key. Collaboration is so important to work towards a similar go- goal, to create a bigger impact to create a positive impact because we've been conditioned to like do everything ourselves and that's exhausting especially if you have kids you know husbands errands other family members like it can take a toll on us so that's why collaboration is key asking help for help and support is necessary and i'm just excited for what's to come with 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 the wise program and Carolyn, if our listeners were uh, tuning into your episode and they're in a similar journey to self-confidence what'd be that one tip you would give to them I would say be your authentic self. Self Self-confidence is the best outfit. So rock it and own it. That's what I would say. And I also wanted to give a shout out to Julie Castro, who's the CEO of How Women Lead. And I always have been very inspired by her journey and her credo. So she has four credos that they follow. It's be fierce advocates for each other. Say yes to helping each other be unabashedly visible and reinforce her voice. So those are the four. And I really love her credo. So I would say my advice would be to every young woman out there or any women out there to be your authentic self and be self-confidence because that's what makes you most beautiful. Thanks for sharing that great tip that you mentioned or tips that you mentioned. And if our listeners wanted to connect with you or get to know a little bit more about you or check out, you know, out what the wise program is about. Is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yes, absolutely, Sheena. So they can find me on LinkedIn, as well as my company LinkedIn, as well as the US PAC WISE program LinkedIn. So there are several ways they can reach me. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Carolyn, you can also head on over to the TaoSelfConfidence.com and search for Carolyn's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I just really want to thank Carolyn today for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Carolyn. Thank you for having me, Sheena. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure to know you as well. It's such an honor to have you today. So thank you so much again. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. You can order your copy of Asian Women Who Boss Up Book by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.